Welcome back to Gun and Shot TV. So I've talked a little bit about cowboy action shooting, how it's something I'd like to get into. Uh, this is my Ruger Blackhawk, uh, one of a match pair that I got. And this is a junky old Hunter holster, I believe. I don't think the holster had markings, but I'm assuming it was a Hunter. And then a Hunter cartridge belt with 38 special loops on it. And I also have a matching holster. Um, these were some junk holsters that my dad had laying around from a junk sale or something. I don't know where he purchased them. Um, the holsters were a very dark tan color. And the belt was a super light tan color. So this was like very dark brown. This was super light. And the two holsters were very abused. They looked like they had been driven over by a truck. Who knows? Um, so I wanted it to match. I wanted it to be cheap. Um, but I was willing to go through a little bit of effort. So I looked around online and tried to find out how I could get this stuff to match. Um, and I found that you can buy leather dye for about 10 bucks on Amazon or a leather store or craft store. So I said, give it a shot. What's the worst that could happen? So I went and purchased this box of Febrings leather dye. Um, pretty much... bottle of dye and a little cotton applicator and all you do is pretty much just rub it on the leather. You can go through and try and take the finish off the leather and do some other stuff. Really? I didn't have to. It went on well. It does go in a little bit blotchy so I think I had to do two coats but once I was finished you know the leather still had the shine and everything it had before I put it on. It was just black now. Um, from what I found online this is some sort of alcohol with dye in a solution so the alcohol will soak into the leather take the dye with it and then the alcohol or whatever it is dries out and so now the leather is actually dyed at least a little bit below the surface so it does have a little bit of wearability without losing the color um, I think it took you know one or two coats and it was kind of a messy affair I would do it with maybe some gloves on and on cardboard so you don't wreck something if you spill but all in all for getting junk holsters and a belt that didn't match and everything. I got it all cleaned up. Now the only thing that doesn't match is the stupid buckles. These are gold and this is silver, but for the price of a $10 box of leather dye is all I have in my holster rig. I'm not going to complain. And definitely, and supposedly this will also work on furniture, shoes, boots, clothes, whatever you got that's leather goods. And based on the quality and the wear that I've, I've put on this, you know, I would trust it. The only thing that bled a little bit is this. Um, this is just some rawhide because I had to redo these holsters. The, the rawhide on them was just completely rotten and fell apart. So I dyed just brown leather strips. And uh, a little bit of the dye came off these. But it's, you know, they're not phased and I'm tying them and moving them around. So they did have a little bit of dye that would bleed off on your fingers initially when you were tying them. But... That seems to have gone away, and like I said, I think it's more the quality of this leather than the dye itself. So something to keep in mind, but not a huge deal. Like, I've never had it stay in my pants or anything from these being wrapped around, so it's not something I would be concerned about. I think it was just a little bit of the dried up dye residue. So if you do uh, need to dye something black, Feebring's leather dye. Definitely worth 10 bucks. So for a little demo of restoring some old leather. In this case, it's a brown rifle strap that I got on my Ruger 7722, and it's pretty heavily used and uh, all scuffed up and beat up, and the leather's stained in spots already anyways with God knows what, so I figure it's a good strap. It's pretty solid. No reason to get rid of it. Um, just touch it up a little bit with some of this black leather dye, and we'll see how it comes out. All you have to do is uh, put your little dauber in there, take a piece of leather, and just paint it on. And it soaks right in, even if the leather's finished. The only thing you kind of got to work around is your metal parts. You'll want to go through and wipe it off those if you care. In this case, it's a copper button. Honestly, it's probably going to look better black, but I'll try and get the dye off it anyways. 
So I'm going to just wipe it off while well, it's wet and it won't stick to the metal. I'm going to do the same thing on the top strap. But this is pretty much the whole process. You just paint it on and let it dry. It's a dye impregnated alcohol. So the alcohol soaks right into the leather and leaves the dye behind when it evaporates. So it's pretty slick and pretty easy. As you can see, I've almost done the majority of this strap in the minute or so I've been going. So I'll finish this, probably do a couple coats and maybe throw up some pictures or maybe we'll do a little video when it's all set. So I went through and hit all the surfaces. It's still wet but you can kind of see where it's going. Um, getting these buttons clean again. Um, but you're just going to let it sit here for probably a couple hours till it dries and then a little bit of dye will come off in handling but it's going to be dry so it's kind of flake off. Um, I wouldn't wear it with a light tuxedo the first day but it looks a lot more uniform than it did. Um, you can do more coats or even buff it with a shoe polish once you're done and it should look 100 times better.